I'm Chris with Metters Musings, Toys, Tech, and more. Here with a new video, the Lego Movie 2 is hitting theaters in February, and that means a new line of Lego minifigures. I love the first set. Very excited about this second set. I was able to pick them up early. They're not supposed to be released till February 1st, 2019, but some of the stores already putting them out, so I was able to pick these up. So I'm going to help you find which characters you want so you're not spending tons of money just picking bags at random. Following this video, I'll make sure that you find the characters that you want so you can complete the set or just pick up your favorites. So the first thing to know about the Lego Movie 2 minifigures is that there are 20 of them in this series. And it includes four figures from the Wizard of Oz, which are really cool. But enough about that, let's get right into this. Starting with figure number one, we have the new awesome remix Emmett. He's got a coffee cup and he's got his music player that's playing. Everything is awesome. This is a great looking figure. To find this one, you're going to want to look for that music player, which is of course that tile piece. There are some other tile pieces in this series. So to make sure, also check for the coffee cup. Once you've found the coffee cup, Pretty easy to find, it is a little different shape than the head. Then you know you'll have the awesome Remix Emmett. Moving on to figure number two, we have Battle Ready Lucy, and this one, the dead giveaway, is the binoculars. There's no other figure in this set that has the piece that feels like the binoculars. So once you've found those, you know you've got the Battle Ready Lucy. You can also feel for the hood piece that goes on top of her head. The third figure in the set, we have Apocalypse Benny. And Benny is missing one of his regular arms in this one. But to find Benny, you're going to want to find his toolbox. It's a very distinct shape, easy to find when feeling through the bags. Moving on to figure number four, we have Giraffe Guy. And much like all the costume figures, they are super simple to feel. Just feel for that long headpiece, very easy to find inside these packs. Figure number five, we have another costume figure. It's the Crayon Girl, a super easy piece to feel within the bag. That crayon piece, a dead giveaway. You could also feel for the square tile, but there are some other square tiles within this one. But again, you're not going to miss out on this one when you feel it in the bag. It is very obvious. Figure number six, we have Sherry Scratch and Post and Scarfield. Now there are a couple of figures in this set who have animals, so you'll want to be careful with this one. But if you're feeling around and you just find an animal and the hair piece a little bit, but no other little accessories, then you know you've got the Sherry Scratch and Post. Figure number seven, we have Hula Lula. And this one, you're going to be looking for that record accessory, the only circular piece within this series. There is a microphone, but there are a lot of characters with microphones in this series, so be careful with that. Feel for that record. Another costume character comes in at number eight. We have the watermelon dude, and there's no mistaking the watermelon piece when you're feeling through those bags. He's got a couple of little tiny watermelon pieces too that you could feel for, but it's a dead giveaway, that top piece that goes on top of his head. Coming in at number nine, we have Flashback Lucy. I love this one. You've got her gold record for the Everything is Awesome single. Again, she has a microphone, but there are a lot of characters with microphones, so you're going to try to feel for that plaque. It is a dead giveaway within the packs. The Swamp Creature comes in at number 10, probably my least favorite character within this set, but an easy one to find when you're feeling through those bags. Just find that whip. It's very bendy, and of course, it'll be easy to find. You could also find the headpiece as well, but you could kind of get mixed up with the headpieces. So again, I suggest finding that whip when you're feeling the bags and you know you've got the Swamp Creature. Next at number 11, we have Candy Wrapper. Couple things to feel for. For Candy Wrapper, you're gonna wanna feel for that uh, tile piece, but again, you could confuse that with Emmett. So the second thing you're gonna be looking for is her dress piece. It's a solid piece that goes on between her legs and her torso. That's a solid piece, easy to find. Once you find that along with the tile piece, you know you have Candy Wrapper. 
At number 12, one of my favorites, we have Gone Golf and President Business. Now, you may remember from the original Lego movie series, President Business has a very distinctive hairpiece. Again, you can feel for that, but another dead giveaway when feeling these packs, of course, will be the golf club. Number 13, we have Apocalypse Berg Abe. Now, for Abe, you're going to want to feel for his hat. It is a top hat. Fairly easy to find. You could also look for the axe pieces. It's a two pieces, so you'll want to feel for the long stick. And then, of course, the piece that does attach to it. But I found easiest is to look for his big top hat. At number 14, we have Vest Friend Rex. Now, for this one, a good thing to look for is his hat. It's very distinctive. As well, you can look for the dinosaur raptor piece. Be careful because, again, there are a couple of characters here with animal figures, but the raptor one has that long tail, fairly easy to find. Again, the hat and that long tail piece on the raptor is a dead giveaway. Coming in at number 15, we have Kitty Pop. Now for Kitty Pop, again, another figure with a microphone, but what gives her away, of course, is her guitar. So feel that guitar find the microphone, and you have yourself Kitty Pop. Now we're going to get into the Wizard of Oz characters, and first up at number 16 is Dorothy herself. Dorothy has very soft hair, so you can feel that if you find the hair piece and you can squish it, likely you have Dorothy, but also check to make sure that you're finding one of those animals. You have Toto with her, so you got Dorothy and Toto, easy to find. Next, within the Wizard of Oz, you have the Cowardly Lion. This one I did have a little bit of trouble finding because it does have that uh, rectangular tile piece, much like Emmett and Candy Wrapper. You got to be careful. So with the lion, you're also going to want to try to feel for the tail, which is squishy, as well as that head piece that goes on top. Fairly easy. You can feel the ridges within it. Again, find the, the rectangular tile. The tail, the headpiece, you've got yourself the Cowardly Lion. Number 18 and third within the Wizard of Oz set, you have the Scarecrow. He's got that little certificate, the square tile, a dead giveaway. There's no other square tiles besides the Crayon Girl, but you're not mistaking the Crayon Girl with the Scarecrow because the Crayon Girl is very distinctive body. The Scarecrow, you can also feel for the pointy hat. You may want to check with that because the Tin Man also has a pointy hat, but once you find that square tile piece, you know you've got the Scarecrow. And speaking of the Tin Man, number 19, for him, you'll want to feel for the axe. It's a one piece. It doesn't separate, so it's a pretty easy piece to find. He also comes with the heart clocks. Those are pretty easy to feel within the bags as well. And last but not least, we have Unikitty. If you're feeling the bags and you feel a bunch of Lego pieces, that's Unikitty. You can also search for the horn. It's got those little ridges on it, easy to find. But again, if you feel a bunch of little Lego pieces, then you know you've got Unikitty. So there we go, a wrap up of the Lego Movie 2 series minifigures. Hopefully now you'll be able to find every single one that you want if you're going for the complete set and you just need a couple. Again, I hope that this guide helps you out. Again, I really love the Lego Movie minifigures. I'm glad I picked this one up and hopefully this video is helpful to you. And I really hope that the Lego Movie 2 is a good movie. It has a lot to live up to. That first movie was fabulous. This one has a lot to live up to. That coming out in February. I'll be sure to be checking that out as well. Hope you really enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like, subscribe. Really appreciate it. Helps me out. Thanks for watching.